Okay. Don't worry about the next, because it's your boy Chris with the next. Alright. I promise I will try to get back to my normal settings. Again, I am sick. I'm stuffy. My nose isn't running. I'm just doing my best. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm trying to. I'm really trying to get in and work. Like I said in the previous video, you know, it's a bit, you know, <laughs> it's spanking my ass. I guess you can say. <laughs> but um, anyways, I was want to get on the, the whole topic about um, Charlemagne the God and uh. That other black dude whose name skips my mind at the moment, a uh, Trevor Noah, Trevor Noah, the whole Tommy Lauren situation. Of uh, had to, to, <coughs> to throw my two cents in. Okay, so if y'all don't know about it already, uh, back when uh, Tommy Lauren is this some white racist chick, twenty five years old, you know. She had a problem with uh, the Beyonce Super Bowl. You know, I'm part of the Beehive. Part of the Beehive, even before it was a Beehive. It was called the Beyontourage, even before then, you know, because I grew up in the 90s. So, I was back then when Beyonce was with Destiny Child. And so she was saying about, like, how Beyonce had um, the Super Bowl performance, saying that it was racist, that the KKK. No, that the um, Black Panthers is the um, equivalent of the KKK. Then she wanted to say some other stupid shit that was just, um, really off guard, really off point, out of pocket. Uh, first of all, the, uh, the, <laughs> the KKK is still around and the Black Panthers, either they not, either some of them are dead or some of them are former members, so... And they was unarmed. Some of them were unarmed, but a lot of them were unarmed. So her misinformation, like, she, she has a lot of dangerous views, and I don't like it, because, of course, she's a pretty white girl, so people are just going to listen to whatever she says. <laughs> they could tell her, she could say, drink bleach, and make her skin look better. People will do it, you know. This generation is very gullible. So it's, it's Charlemagne the God styled on her ass back in... August or whenever the Super Bowl came out, I, you know, I was feeling that, but then I was seeing, like, he, I was seeing, like, his name trending, I was seeing he was having, like, tea or dinner, um, dinner with her, and then Trevor Noah was trying to have dinner with her, I'm like, wait a minute, why did you even try, like, the, that kind of whole, that forfeits the whole, you know, donkey of the day, so he had to give himself the donkey of the day, <clears throat> I think that, my take on it, like I said, it forfeits the whole purpose of you styling on her ass. And like a lot of people saying, what, is she attractive? So he was trying to smash, you know, like the, the movie Brother Man or Soul Man, which I can't, uh, where he says white women or the black man is kryptonite. Like, is she your kryptonite? Like, why would you even like have dinner with her? And Trevor Noah, you know, both Charlotte Man and Trevor Noah, I do respect them. And they filled because, you know, of course, you know, they came from the bottom and they, you know, it's not, especially for a per person of color, you know, trying to stay in the uh, media, you know, it's very hard. <laughs> it's very hard. You know, I'm not taking away from any of their credit. You know, Charlemagne came from Wendy Williams, you know, and then, you know, he got his way from there. But I feel that, you know, stop trying to, like, yeah, I feel as our community, we need to we need to be more supportive of our own rather than try to seek white validation. Because that's kind of what I'm seeing he's doing now. Because a lot of people saying like, oh, he made a lot of jokes on Drake, telling him about light skin, light skin jokes, and calling him beige bitch. But then now you um, then bleach the skin, got the hyperpigmentation out of you. Now you're trying to act brand new. And I kind of do believe that. You know, maybe he was kind of insecure. I mean, the hyperpigmentation, that lady who fixed him, that's good. But, like, maybe he is trying to feel some type of way now. And I feel like... <clears throat> I feel like, yeah, like, why are you trying to get white... Stop trying to seek white validation. As black people, we need to, like, be more supportive of our own. Stop uh, disrespecting, like, the BT wars. Because BT is starting to come up. Soul Train, you know, is starting to pop now.
my girl Brandy, she got her <coughs> uh, image award, I mean, her Soul Train award accomplishment. And even people be trying to say, you know, she's a 90s wash up, or she, you know, she can't sing, she has been, you know. But, um, and Britney Spears completely went ape shit in 2015. No, 2005. You know, a lot of people didn't think she was going to make it out. And she made it out. And look at her now, you know. Vegas, you know, you don't hear nobody call her a, a has been or Washa. You know, she's just still Britney. But for black people, you know, we can't do the thing. Once you take a break and you try to come back, it's virtually impossible. Unless you like Beyonce level success, no. Brandy is very successful. You know, I, I wish we would stop like trying to see validation from other people. So if we don't care about our own, how is we? How anybody else is going to care about us? First of all, you know, I feel like a lot of people should. You know, I do feel like it's it's trying to see white validation, and I do feel like they may have been trying to smash Tommy Lord. They keep saying, oh, well, she's a child, or <clears throat> she's young, she don't know what she's doing. She's fucking 25 years old, you know. We're the same age group. Like, how, you already should be wise by then. She is not a child. She is not 18. She is not 17. She does look younger than 25. I will give her that. But no, she is 25. She's a grown-ass adult. Uh, she wants to be racist. Let her be racist, you know. Stop. She's not even a real journalist. Like, it's, it's, because when you talk about people and you make them trend, yes, I am talking about her because she's already out there. But, you know, and then when she came from Beyonce, of course, people were going to sting and come for her. So she already put herself out there. But we keep making her trend. It's because, you know, it, when things go viral, when things go um, viral on social media, we make them trend. And that's why she's still popping. That's why her name is out there. <clears throat> but if she was, um, I guess if she was black or dark skin, it'll be a different uh, situation. <clears throat> Not trying to call it racism, you know. I keep it one hundred. That is just how it is, you know. And then when they say, you know, black and Latino, it needs to build their own platform. Even though he's talking about women, I still feel like you know it kind of went for everybody. <clears throat> we. Um, on oh, YouTube, we need to build it, build it up. Um, have you not heard of Lovely T? Have you not heard of Tommy Soto Bayer? Have you not heard of The Advice Show? Uh, and other people, you know. Uh, there's a lot of people who built the um, platform. I don't think no one's jealous of Tom, um, Tommy Lauren. It's just that she has very dangerous views, and she tried to come for Black Lives Matter. Now, you know, I've had my issues with Black Lives Matter, but, you know, you can't, you know, go out uh, <clears throat> calling everybody a thug, because I'm definitely not no thug. I can get thug if you make me mad, you know. Of course, you have to defend yourself, you know, I'm a very nice person, but, like, <clears throat> I hate when um, this black youth, it just gets uh, mangled into, like, one, because I was watching Tupac Resurrection, there's a lot of things that Tupac was saying in there, that documentary. It's still prevalent to today. It is still prevalent. And I don't think a lot has changed since then. You know, a lot of things are still the same. So that's just my um, t take on that. Yeah, I think I covered everything. It's just, you know, I feel like our youth, you know, is in danger. <coughs> And when people say stuff like that, you know, it's bad enough you get followed around by the Koreans. But then you got the white people trying to look at you all crazy. And then Donald Trump is president. Or going to be pre president. <coughs> so it's, it's, it's crazy. <coughs> Alright, so that's my take on him. Comments, questions, concerns, you know where to leave them. Till this, this has been your boy Crystal Dix. Alright, peace.